Hey guys, quick uh, edit from Editing Squirrel. Just wanted to give you a heads up. This video is very PowerPointy. I posted a little note about it earlier, but most of the video is pretty PowerPointy. There are parts where it's not. There are parts where it's fairly smooth at like 30 frames per second, um, but this is basically just gonna be an audio tour because I cannot figure out a way to go back on the save files. The stable seems to save on top of itself. Um, so there's no like save scumming essentially, which is fine. I think that they did that on purpose, right? Because they don't want you to like second guess yourself. You can replay the game, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, um, they just want you to go with the flow. And so I get that. Um, but unfortunately for the recording, it means it's going to be pretty PowerPointy. Just put me on in the background and you can listen if you're invested. This is a big chunk of like a mystery that I'm trying to solve, which is why I can't even just edit it down too much. Uh, because there's important plot point stuff going on. So I do apologize. It's really frustrating for me too. I have a better power converter. Hopefully videos in the future will be better. But for now, we're gonna have to deal, at least with this particular episode, with a PowerPoint. So thank you all for watching. If you do decide to watch this, and the video will start in a second. Hello everybody and welcome back to Sable where I just realized there was actually probably three sounds you can hear in the last video. The converter, the car, and the laptop, so you're welcome for that. Hopefully, I've been able to do like the background noise removal thing, but it does kind of make my voice sound tinny, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm currently trying to record with the converter off because it just keeps fluctuating. It keeps like going, ah, and it keeps like uncharging and charging like repeatedly, like every second, and it's making things sketchy. Uh, he's making everything very stilted, so I'm going to try to record with it not being plugged in. And so far it seems pretty smooth, and it seems like it's at 60 frames still. This is a... yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes on the recording, but again, if it's not, it's not a good recording, I do apologize. Oh. Now I get to the meat of the situation. Yeah, uh. Guard towers over me. I can't tell if I've somehow committed some kind of transgression as he looks me over. He seems to be contemplating a decision of some sort and mutters something unintelligible under his breath. He knows. Are you planning on staring all day? He focuses on me with a look like I have been doing something covert. I just walked in. And how like a glider to stumble clumsily into my midst. <laughs> useful, very useful. Let's make good use of you. Let's not. Me, I ask him how. Well, you're a glider. By your very nature, an outsider. You belong to nothing and to no one. And therefore, you are capable of an uncommon objectivity. <laughs> I wonder if I should share my myriad of popular, unpopular, or deeply subjective opinions, but decide to spare him. He seems to have much worse. <laughs> I like her. I like how self-aware she is. My name is Sandip, and I am in the middle of a very serious investigation. There are few I can trust. You may have noticed that we find ourselves without power, yes? I did notice that. I like it, it's drastic. It's no accident. Someone stole the power core from out of the atomic heart, and the perpetrator eludes me still. I thought you, perhaps you might be able to help me solve this crime and bring the thief to justice. Oh yeah, I'm just here to... Oh nice. <laughs> I've already begun to picture myself darting in and out of the shadows, tracking the elusive power thief through the city. In my mind, I am swiftness and smoke, a creature of cunning and dexterity. Then Sandip hands me a rusted heap. This is an old power core, scrap really, but if you bring this to the machinist for me, he can fix it and we can get this town going again. But while you're there, I want you to ask if he has any idea who might want to steal something like this and why. I'd ask myself, but... People are less forthcoming with guards? You get it. I see I've made the right choice. Report back if you're taking care of this. Yes, I'll be waiting. I say goodbye to Sandip. Heartbreak in the city. 
Oh boy. Well, I don't want to do anything until I get more information. Who did this? Have you found out who it was yet? Are we under attack? Oh no. Who are you? Everyone, please remain calm. We are doing all we can to restore power to Ekria. Okay. Um, I did also, um... I know this is like totally not even like a big deal, but I did let my, my laptop rest for like 30 minutes after the last episode because it was getting overheated. So here we are. Attempting to not overheat. So far so good. I'm just, now I'm kind of worried that like I've messed up somehow. <laughs> that it's like not going. Like it's not making the very loud fan noises. But I am, are you okay? I am pretty sure I'm doing everything right. Any cuts to spare? Anything would be appreciated, Glider. Oh, um, uh, uh, ten. This is a disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was the same one I saw before. I feel like I should take this power core and get the city fixed. But also, if it was that easy, why aren't they already doing it, you know? The people who just stand ominously are very ominous. What's this? What? Is that a... Oh my gosh, is it like a sand flounder? I just like la la la! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a blanket. Oh, have I been kidnapped? Or beaten up? It definitely looked alive. It did not look like a normal blanket. Am I in trouble? Do you make a habit of trying to get yourself eaten? What was that? I asked what it was that nearly killed me just now. Well, it's a worm, isn't it? This girl is nosy and she's bloody strong. You shouldn't get that close unless you've had the proper training or else, or else you've got food handy. But you're a glider, aren't you? So I suppose I can forgive a bit of clumsy worm handling. My name is Citra. I tell her I'm Sable, and she offers a quick compliment to my name, which almost soothes the embarrassment burning through my ears. After that, she's all business. Now what's brought you here, Glider? Can I, can I help? I get the sense that if Citra were an animal herself, her fur might have bristled at my question. It triggers a memory where Jaddy told me that it can sometimes be a labor in itself to explain how one needs help, and that I ought to try and see where I can be useful before I inquire, but I think I've made enough of an introduction already. I need help. Citra gives it a moment's thought. You know what? Yes, Nosy loves a Hakoan glowworm as a treat. If you could find her some, we'd both appreciate it. I tell her I think I can do that and decide it better not... To, it'd be better not to ask for the details. I'm sure I can find something. I say goodbye. Oh my goodness. Quest, quest, quest. Aw, oh, I thought that was something. Um... I do suppose it makes sense, though. What are you doing? I'm in a town, so it makes sense I have a lot of quests. I hear the guard murmuring about pomegranates to himself as I approach. When he notices me, he clams up and stands to attention. Can I help you? I need to speak to who? Is there something about pomegranates? The guard seems to perk up at the mention. Yes, have you tried one? That's with the like the running noise <laughs> from like from like uh, Looney Tunes. Oh, I didn't even realize what time did I start? Oh, I <laughs> okay. Have you tried one? They sell them in Sarai outside of town. They are unbelievable, magical. Each we see a burst of watery coolness. He continues to espouse his clear obsession with the fruit, and I notice my own mouth salivating a little. I need to speak to Ira. Ira is a very important Iraya is a very important person. If I'm going to let a bothersome glider interrupt her day, it had better be worth my while. I think glider is capitalized. Huh! Never mind. God, I don't even know who that person is. Damn, trying to Where am I? Over here? Put a marker there. 
because this obviously means something. I don't have a lot of money. What is that noise? Are you a machinist? Hamza is, the, Hamza is the machinist at Ekria. He's busy tidying up the workshop. It looks like someone's ransacked the place. What can I do for you, Glider? I have a delivery. I have, I have a delivery for you? What, I'm gonna ask what happened. Hamza explained that this happened a few nights ago. He's got no idea who did it. Could this be related to the power going out? He seems more resigned than concerned about having his workshop ransacked and indicates that he doesn't know who or why someone would do such a thing. I am not sure I'm convinced by his ignorance, but I let it go. Anything else I can help you with? I'm a detective now. Some questions about the power cut? Okay. What do I want to ask? Any idea why someone might have taken the core? Oh, is this the this is the one who can fix the core? That's right. He crosses his arms and looks down, thinking on it. Power is the lifeblood of everything we do as machinists, and our work exists to uplift the past and secure the future. Power supports the machines, and machines are bound to the people. I nod, listening. If you want to take power from the people, then you wish to make people powerless. He looks sad at this. So I think you'll be looking for someone who cares little for the common person. What do I want to ask? Where were you when the power went out? I was in the workshop, sleeping. Got most of my sleep there lately, if I'm being honest. He shrugs. That being the case, though, I didn't notice anything was wrong. I ask why not. Because I'm a machinist, is why, and not one of us, no matter how different we may seem, would ever be caught dead without a backup generator. So I had a few hours good rest before I caught wise. I'm not accepting his answer. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Who do you think did it? If I had to say, he touches a hand. I don't know why he's telling me all this. Iria, the merchant. Ah, okay. I tell him I'm listening, and he shuffles his feet, getting closer to me. His voice lowers to a low rumble. Ira and her ilk run this town. The markets are their locus of control, and they've got their claws in the food stocks. Now imagine, if you will, what happens when the power goes down. All of a sudden, folks are stockpiling food, and Iria and her law are hiking up the prices. And there's not a damn thing any of the rest of us can do. You should look at Iria. You'll find her weaving her web of corruption from above the beetle market across the bridge. You have to persuade her guard to let you pass, though. Oh, nice! I get to have a list of suspects. I'll have a delivery. Hams the smirks because his expression is warm. It got you running errands, eh? Listen, people love to give me errands. <laughs> mm, yes, that happened to gliders. Suppose folks see them as having that sort of directionless liberty. That means you aren't interrupting anything if you ask that they fetch something for you. I'm busy. I'll drop this thing off with sand dip when it's good and ready. Anything else I can help you with? Um, customize my bike. I have colors. I have colors. Oh, okay, okay. I do have a. I do have a, a color thing I should be able to use. Oh, he looks quite upset now. I have the money, I think, or was it, yeah, it was a hundred? I have the money for it, but... Oh, okay, where was it? It was over here. I don't want to lose track, so we'll... And where was that? I'm like, I don't want to lose track, and then I immediately wander off. Um, I'm trying to remember where that... I guess I could probably just poke it. That looks like my ritual. That looks like the powers of the goddess. Um, where that secret mask is supposed to be. But. I want. I want a floating thing. That looks like you have a little friend. I want one. Looks like you climb up to the top there. But no, we're gonna go talk to the beetle people. I have the money for it, despite not being very happy about it. <gasps> Wait, uh, maybe I could go buy a pomegranate. I was gonna go buy a, maybe I'll go buy a pomegranate. I, okay, 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 let me go buy a pomegranate first. Oh, nope, I want to do south. I want to go the south out of town anyway-ish. 
it might make it might um reduce the bribe or take the place of the bribe and I think the pomegranates will be cheaper and I'm pretty sure I saw them in the merchants like the fruit merchant over here pomegranate yeah that's the only yeah bye bye I'm off to go bribe someone with a pomegranate I can't believe I almost made a terrible mistake Oh wait, uh, that was the way I got in, but it's probably not the way, or got out, so not the way I'm going to get in. I do feel like my frames are a little low. Hopefully it's not. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine. Where did I go? I went this way? Question mark? I have no idea. Wrong way. I should explore the other side of the city too, but... I bet you if I gave that person a lot of money, they would tell me something. But instead, I give them only a little bit. I just, but, okay, hang on, let's see. Why is it make, it's making the, like, Looney Tunes. Oh, for pomegranate. <gasps> Yay! Oh, Rahana, this is beautiful. It's not just the pomegranate greedily from my hands and indicates that I can pass now. You're a terrible guard. You're gonna get fired. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, turning is actually very slow. With the controller. At least currently it is. Oh wow, lighting change. If Iria is surprised, happy, or displeased to see me, it is hard to tell. The guard by her side tenses up as I approach, but Iria signals them to, and they relax. My presence is permitted. For now. So you got past the Ennis. Was it a pomegranate or just good old fashioned cuts? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Well, you're here now. Yes. How do I get myself merchant badges? That would be out of the blue. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> I ask her again, which has a big sigh. How do you think? What do merchants do? Don't answer that. You can buy them from me. Yes. Uh, I'd like to buy a merchant's badge. For a hundred? Um, do I only have a hundred? Sure. Oh, you can buy multiples from her. Oh, jeez. I feel like I should actually do something as a merchant. Like, sell stuff, not just buy things. <laughs> you have five minutes, and then I want you gone. Oh, I asked about the question. The power cut. Any idea? Uh, any idea why someone might have taken the core? There is a deeply irritated sigh at the beginning of her speech, and it comes out like the hiss of a viper. Two reasons I can imagine. One, because they have something to gain from bringing the town to its knees, and now a sharp, annoyed inhale. Two, because power core is such a substantial price in illegal markets. Could be one of those, could be both, don't know. I could ask more questions. Who do you think did it? It'll be some low life from the Sarai, probably that climber fellow, Garay. They say he's, you know, one to speak to when a job needs doing, though it's not exactly what I'd call discreet. A fellow like that, he won't be the brains behind it, but if I were a scummy little nobody, he's the person I'd hire to get the work done. I'm told you can find him under the bridge outside the town gate. I had to get rid of the list of suspects. Where were you when the power went out? I can feel her eyes narrow on me and imagine the drag of her tongue along her upper teeth. She dislikes me very much. I will ignore the implications of that question, friend, but I was here in the market. Ask around if you'd like. Any of the guards will vouch for me. They're all in your pay! I 
could ask. I don't think I have any more. Okay, bye. I can check in with Sandip. But there's potentially more questions to be asked and more people to talk to. I think I should do that first. I have not even been to a whole other side of the city. And I have no more money. How do you make money? I need to become a merchant. Just so I can make some money. Um, I know where Gray is. But... I think I will check out this side of the sea. You always gotta go to the tavern. This is Rita the, Rita, the owner of the Overhang Cafe. I have some questions about Berg. I don't think I'll be of much help to your investigation. I can't believe people are totally fine with me just doing this. I guess maybe gliders have a thing where like they come in and, and help people out? I don't know. Any, uh, any idea who my, someone might have taken the core? Whatever the reason, it's been terrible for business. I could ask questions. What do you think did it? There's people coming and going every day. You're not very helpful. Where were you? Here. Okay, bye. Not useful. Okay. Do you guys know where a person could make some money? Oh, those look like masks. Interesting. This is really beautiful, all the plants and stuff. I like, I like the look. Oh, this is the machinist guy. I do not want, he's next to the beetles, the beetle market. Oh. It looks like I could hop around out there. Platformy looking kind of thing. Money! Oh! A dye bottle. Not money, but cool. Well, I kind of want to go out there and look around, but my focus right now is on solving this mystery. Money! Well, I guess, I think I basically got. I think I wandered around, I need to go. Someone's making a statement. Oh, was this a way in? Nope. These walls are too tall. And I think if a door is closed, that means I don't have access to it. Yep. Anyway, I should probably call this one here, but, um... Oh, I've got some time. I was apparently not keeping track of my time quite right. Well, I think we're kind of close to Garay. We can talk to him now, maybe. Also, I'm curious if it's that snake-like thing that is the power source. Or uh, they said it's like the heart or something. So... I assume it's more centrally located. Hey, I have questions. He scratches himself, puts on the ground before giving me a shrug. 
Any idea who might have taken the core? He smells. It uh, smells like old dust, tinged with stale oil, and ground into the fabric of old garments or buried under fingernails. It clings to him, and I turn away just a little as he answers me. Heard about a big sale going on down in the Sarai recently. I'm not sure what, but it caused a, a stir, let's say. Whatever it is, it's long gone by now. He shrugs, and I press him a little further, asking if he had any idea who the seller was. But as I heard, it was some machinist with a mushroom habit. Not sure how true that is, but let's say it come up a few times. See, I was curious. I gave the power core to the machinist guy. And he's like, I'll give it back to him. And I'm like, I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do, and this seems a little suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Although I might just be walking into a trap on this, but, uh... I did think it was a little weird to just like hand it off and then be like, okay, bye, you know? Where were you? Cafe. I crossed my arms, mostly out of impatience, but it seems to work on Garay somehow. All right, I got him a little scrap, and is that is that what you want to hear? Nothing to do with anything and probably not your business, but sure. Had a fight, power went out, broke it up. I keep my arms crossed. End of story. I got nothing else. I could ask more questions. You think did it? He stares at me for a few seconds, and I mistake it for consideration before I realize he's looking at me like I'm stupid. I don't name names, and even if I did, Beats Me did this, but more power to him, I say. There's a pause, and he laughs loudly. You get it? More power to him? Oh my gosh. I get it. I tell him I get it, he chuckles and waves me off. Let's see... Whoop. Is it gonna... Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me leave. Dang. Uh, I cannot get out of this. It's not even like my controller. Well, I can't seem to get out of this, so... And I checked online and I don't see any reports about bugs on it, but, uh... I'm even using the D-pad and every like I just as soon as I try to go down and I can't back out of it and I can't uh, I can't hit it fast enough. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. I might have to redo this a little bit because I'm gonna have to like exit out very forcefully but anyway <laughs> so we're in the middle of the mystery um but that's okay i didn't want to spoil it too much either like i didn't see any like bugs pop up online but i also didn't want to read too far into it because i didn't want to get any spoilers or anything because um it seems like i'll probably just have to make a decision on who i want to accuse but um but I have no idea right now. I still feel like I need more information. I definitely need to check in with the machinist to see if the machinist is still there. If the machinist is gone, I'll be very suspicious. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. On this strange, gliders are impartial outsider judges and they get to do investigations on their own. <laughs> so thank you again for watching. Uh, really quick, I want to thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Miss Galito, my sapling tier patron, and Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you both so so much for your support i appreciate it and i want to give an extra special shout out to christopher my tree tier patron who's the super bestest and who i super appreciate and thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one